I was looking around my home the other day and I noticed a slight obsession. <laughs> I seem to have collected a lot of antique crocs and pottery and I've used them in so many different ways, both decorative and functional. So I thought it'd be fun to get on here and share with you seven creative ways that you can use antique crocs or pottery in your home. Okay, I hope you will pardon the scratchy throat and stuffy nose and tired eyes today. <laughs> I had determined to do this video for you anyway, so the show must go on. But anyway, I love collecting, apparently. <laughs> I didn't know I was doing it deliberately, but I just cannot resist a beautiful piece of pottery. The more patina and character, the better. Um, I love Crocs, I love different kinds of shapes. Anyway, I've collected a lot of them, so I just want to walk you through my house and show you how I've used them in, space, in different spaces, and hopefully that will give you some ideas. If you also love to collect pottery, or maybe you would like an obsession like I have, <laughs> and hopefully these ideas will come in handy. So let's first look at how I've used them in my kitchen space. So I have this little corner where I've stuck um, a few pieces actually in this big one. I've just stored some rolling pins and then I have some smaller pieces. Actually a couple of these I made at a pottery class that some girlfriends and I took and they're so full of character and flaws and I absolutely love them. They hold some dear memories. So that was a really fun experience to learn how to make that on my own. But I keep some essential oils in this more shallow bowl that was supposed to be a cup. <laughs> um, and then I placed some of my little small s stirring spoons that I'll use for like tea or my Creo brew. And um, they're just out here on the countertop handy for us to grab. We use it to eat like yogurt parfaits um, or little delicate desserts. Anyway, it's just really handy to have these crocs and have these little spoons stored there. I also use a crock to store all our wooden spoons and any other cooking utensils that we need really close and handy next to the oven range. And while a lot of times the crocks and antique pottery in my house are functional, sometimes, well, I have an abundance of them, so <laughs> I place them also where they can be decorative. So up above the range, I've kind of placed ones that, um, just a collection of ones that don't really have a purpose, but they are so handy to grab if I have flowers or I want to make a, an arrangement. So while these are decorative when they're just sitting in their spot, they're so nice to grab and have when I want to make a floral arrangement. So they really come in handy. I've also placed decorative pottery over on our TV mantle you may have seen before as I've shared our living room in this mantle area. I just love the simplicity of it, the collected feel. I think it's really pretty right there. Not too cluttery, but cohesive. And then you may have seen already this bookshelf that's in our living room. It was a Facebook find and I painted it up and I really love to just store single vases and pottery pieces in each little shelf. They actually do store things like remotes or if I um, have little odd and end things that I need the kids to put away, I'll put it in one of those and have them clean up later. So they come in handy for decorative purposes and it's just kind of a catch-all right here in the living room. Another fun way I've been using Crocs is in our school room. I will actually corral our paintbrushes and any other brushes in this cute little striped Croc, and then we just have this small one. I love the texture and movement on this little piece, and I stick pencils in here for the kids to grab. And I'm sure there are many other creative ways you could use Crocs and pottery in a school room or for office supply storage as well. Really the sky's the limit for that kind of stuff. Let me also take you into my laundry room. I've used Crocs a couple ways here. Um, I use one just on the countertop to store some rags that I can grab for quick cleaning. There's some scrub brushes in here, some stain soaps, just random laundry things that look so much better when they're corralled into a cute antique. Um, piece of pottery. I've also enjoyed using this crock with a lid for the dryer lint that comes out or any other garbage that I find in kids pockets. So that's really nice to keep that in there and then I can empty it when it's full. I also love using crocks to um, put 
my house plants in. So I've got one in my bathroom that just fits perfectly inside this beautiful crock. And then one in our kitchen living room area holds this um, beautiful tree. And I think it looks really good. Again, I just like the simplicity and the patina with the greenery. I think it just looks great. Another space you might want to think about using antique crocs and pottery in is in your bathroom. You can use small ones to curl things like Q-tips. Um, I have, well, this isn't actually pottery. Well, it's a ceramic <laughs> cup, but it's got Old Spice on it. And I use it to kind of curl my chapsticks or makeup brushes out handy where I can grab them. And I can't remember, this one is really meaningful for my husband. I can't remember if he got this from his dad who he remembered used this Old Spice cup to shave or if I had found it at an antique store and he said my dad used one just like that. Either way, it holds some memories and I just really enjoy putting that in the bathroom. Um, you can use Crocs also in the bathroom to store like your hair brushes and things like that. Maybe even a curling iron. Um, I have a wooden bowl in my bathroom that I use for that purpose, but an old croc would also be a great solution. Then finally, crocs are just super handy to have in places that can serve. It's just a catch-all. In my daughter's room, I found this cute little croc that she just uses to put stray things like money that she pulls out of her pocket or hair elastics or anything that just needs a little spot to land until you can get around to taking care of it. So placing those in a bedroom to catch things or especially like in a mudroom to throw your keys in or any other kind of um, spot to just corral tiny little things that might otherwise get spread out and drive you crazy. So Crocs and antique pottery is great for that. Okay, you might be curious about where I find all my pottery and Crocs and it has been years in the making to collect all these pieces. I find them at like vintage markets, definitely antique stores, thrift stores. I always have my eye open. Basically anywhere you can find secondhand stuff, but I always look for unique pieces um, and then ones that are affordable because I live with four kids and I've had pieces break. So I don't pay a ton for them. I'm definitely looking for a good deal and a bargain and just as many unique pieces as I can get. So hopefully next time you go out antiquing or thrifting, you might want to keep your eye out and grab any kind of pottery, ceramic, or crock that you find that you think you can make useful or um, serve as a decorative purpose in your home. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will actually create a blog post for this as well. If you prefer to slow it down and look at pretty pictures, I love photography. So um, doing a blog post to kind of feature these ideas is another fun way that I can create and share content with you. So definitely check the blog post. I will link it below. Um, I showed you a lot of spaces in my home today. So if you're curious about them, I will link to a playlist that shows all the finish rooms and spaces that we've completed in our pole barn home. So you might want to take a few minutes to go around to go look at that and see um, more of our home if this intrigues you. And there's also a place on my blog, again, if you like photography and written content, I've linked all my home tours so you can go and just click on each space in each room, get details and sources and good stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little Tuesday tidbits and hopefully it got you excited about maybe starting a collection of your own. So thank you for watching and be sure that you are subscribed to my channel and my um, newsletter so that I can send you more inspiration for the keeper of the home. Thanks for watching.